Hello students, welcome to Shogra Upsar Classes. In this video, we will be solving a few questions based on the number theory for the preparation of RMO examination which is the Regional Mathematical Olympiad examination. Coming to the question number 4. First, what is the last digit of the number 3 to the power 579 plus 1? So this is a question of remainder theorem and from remainder theorem we have seen that we get to find the value of the last digit also so here 3 to the power 579 is our number so if you look carefully you can you will see that 3 follows a certain direction the power of 3 follow so as 3 to the power 1 equals to 3 3 square is equals to 9, 3 cube equals to 27, 3 to the power 4 is equals to 81 and 3 to the power 5 is equals to again 243. So 3 follows a circle of 3, 9, 7, 1 and again 3. So this is a circle which the, the power of 3 follows. So if we express the power as a 4n plus something plus 1 or 0 plus 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 we will get to know what will be the last digit of that number. So if we express the number 579 which is in the power of 3 here we will get 4 into 144 that is 576 plus 3 so we can express the number 579 as in the form of 4n plus 3 so 4n plus 3 is basically same as the power 3 so as 3 to the power 3 gives us the last digit 7 similarly the number 579 which can also be expressed as 4n plus 3 this will also give us the last digit of 7. So 7 plus 1 is equals to 8. So this is the plus 1 portion. So what will be the last digit of the number of 3 to the power 579 plus 1? This will be 8. 8 will be our answer. If the question asked was that what is the last digit of the number 3 to the power 579? Our answer would be 7. But as it is asked that what is the number what is the last digit of the number 3 to the power 579 plus 1? So our answer will be 8 here. Now coming to the next question, question number 5. Before that, let me clear the page. Question number 5. If n equals to 1 plus x, where x is a product of 4 consecutive positive integer, 4 consecutive positive integer, then which of the following statements is true? n is odd, n is prime and n is perfect square. So let's check it. Since x is a product of 4 consecutive positive integers, it is always divisible by 4 as it is a product of 4 consecutive positive integer. So 1 plus x is always odd as x is always divisible by 4. So x has to be even. So 1 plus x is always odd. So this is our logic, first logic that x is a product of 4 consecutive positive integer means x is divisible by 4 which implies that x is a x is a even number so 1 plus x will be odd now as n equals to 1 plus x x will be we can write x is equals to y minus 1 into y into y plus 1 into y plus 2 the product of 4 consecutive integers. So this is y into y square minus 1 as y minus 1 into y plus 1 is equals to y square minus 1 into y plus 2 which is equals to y to the power 4 plus 2y cube minus y square minus 2y. Therefore 1 plus x will be equals to 
this plus 1 so 1 plus x will be equals to y to the power 4 plus 2y cube minus y square minus 2y plus 1 which can be expressed as 1 plus x is equals to y square plus y minus 1 whole square this function or this equation y to the power 4 plus 2y cube minus y square minus 2y plus 1 can be expressed as y square plus y minus 1 whole square. So, it is very much evident or prominent from this equation that 1 plus x is a perfect square also. So, as n is odd, it was previously proved that 1 plus x or n is odd and here it is proved that 1 plus x is also a perfect square. So, option 1 and option 3 are correct for question number 5. This was all for today's video. If you have any doubt or any queries, you can feel free to call us in this number 9836793076 or you can send us email at shourabsar classes at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.